Hey cats and kittens, this is Joshua Powell, and this is my small studio session. You guys good? Hi, we're Joshua Powell and the Great Train Robbery from Indianapolis, Indiana. We're going to start with a song called Mandala in Reverse from our most recent album, Psychotropic. It goes like this.
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we like to talk about that song having a twist ending. It's like, oh, happy little bedroom dream pop song. And then we listen to Sabbath for like a whole year. This is Adam Shuntich on the guitar and singing. Josh Townsend on the bass. Mr. Ricky Yamas on the keyboards. And uh, this is our last month with our good friend Colin Oakley back here on the drums. So we're happy to get to memorialize this. I'm going to play a song for you now off of the new album. Um, for many years, I operated more as a folk singer. Um, one of the things I was attracted to about that was the same spirit of integrity that I learned later to find in jazz that I found earlier in punk and that eventually I circled right back around and found in rock and roll. It was just this radical honesty and... Uh, but beyond that, sort of a, a social dynamic to what we make as artists and what our role is in the community, I get so sick of hearing criticism of artists who speak out about the things they believe in, and people say, oh, stick to music, which denies the humanity of the artist, which is the reason that you're connecting with the artist in the first place. And so for many years, I went around politically railing about everything I wanted to, until we stopped getting asked to play in Texas. <laughs> um, a small joke, but not really. <laughs> um, and I learned how to still find the balance and, and be able to say the things that I believe in, but couch them in enough reverb and metaphor so no one will get mad at us unless they really paid attention. So this is a political song that no one's caught on to yet. It's called 59 Tomahawk. Fifty-nine 
Thank you everybody so much. This is a huge treat for us. Um, I mean, really any day that we get to do this as work, it's the best, but um, aside from loving to play dreamy rock and roll with my friends, I'm a huge nerd for NPR. All things NPR. And, uh, you know, Tiny Desk is super cool, so when they call us, you know, a couple months, we're like, okay, I guess Robin and Bob, sure. But in the meantime, I'm like, we don't need to go to D.C. We've got our own in Indianapolis. I love this. I love Small Studio. I love uh, WFYI and all the other artists that have been on here. They have really good taste um, and us. So thank you so much for that. Find us online, Facebook and Instagram.com slash Joshua Powell Music. On Twitter, it's Twitter.com slash Joshua Powell GTR. That's the most unfiltered version, so... If you're already prone to not liking this, definitely don't follow me on Twitter. I'm going to play uh, our last song from the very end of our new record. Um, and the whole thing was a labor of love, but this song took on um, so many different incantations and incarnations in the studio and uh, wrote it about a friend who was experiencing the loss of their sight. And uh, At least with the earthly eyes. This is a song about the other one. It's called Chakra Number Six. Thank you for having us in the small studio. I'm Joshua Powell. In your Stop. 
series is one But you only see the scars Twisted up like rays In the throat of the morning so much. Yes. Um, we're Joshua Powell in The Great Train Robbery. Um, I'm Joshua Powell. I sing and play guitar. Uh, I'm Josh Townsend. I play bass. I'm Ricky Olmos. I play keyboards and wear sunglasses indoors. I think it's pretty succinct to say psychedelic indie rock. Because rock means that we're going to yell and sweat. Indie means that there's reverb on it. And then psychedelic means that uh, you know what it means. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I like the I like the other description. Uh, Stoner jams for English majors. Nope. One more. Uh, Neil Young songs played by Pink Floyd. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> like that's the last one. If people don't know, they're like, right. oh, I don't know. And then you say that, and they're like, oh. Yeah. When I say psychedelic <laughs> indie rock, dream pop. Be like, oh. I'm like, you know Neil Young. My holy trinity is uh, Neil Young, Kanye West, and David Lynch. So. Uh, the Kanye one is obviously like can be controversial or anything else, and it's less about obviously we don't sound like him usually um, yet. <laughs> but the Kanye and, and Neil both have this incredible approach to their art where they don't care at all what we want from them, um, and it's not about the critical or commercial reception, no matter how problematic or or um, you know differentiated their output is not all of Neil Young's records are great but every single one of them is true he has always just done what he wanted to do and I think that commitment to your individuality and the whole scope of it is what makes them such like electric characters and then David Lynch just taught me how to think about all art super differently and subvert all the most deep-seated western tropes like the hero's journey or like a linear story and that uh, surrealist impression is something that we try to integrate into our music. In a world where you're trying to like reach out for everyone you can digitally and make all these social media connections and stuff, there's still no, no matter how digitized our economy becomes or how commoditized streaming becomes, you can't replace the live experience and the emotional connection that you make with an audience when you are playing at a dive bar in Cleveland. Um, and so I'd say, you know, don't be afraid of touring. Don't like save up money to go. Just start going on tour. And then the other thing is that when you're not on tour, in your hometown, especially in Indianapolis. Um, if there's a night where you're not playing a show, I think you should be at a show. Um, I think that uh, musicians supporting one another is where it starts. The exchange that happens between an artist and an audience, between artists and artists, um, between audience members, like you can't, that's a holy thing that people are, are gathering to support one another. A human had an idea that was like, maybe other people will feel this. So rallying around those people and being a supporter in your scene not only is good for your scene it, it is a way to foster goodwill for yourselves if you're at people's shows they're going to come to your shows and everyone everyone wins just by it's it could be exhausting but like you know put put your shoes back on turn the tv off go see a band there's so many things happening in this town like every night so